Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So I've been asked recently, can you learn quality assurance by yourself? Can you start working as a QA engineer if you don't have a computer science degree or you didn't go through a bootcamp? The short answer is yes, yes, you can. Now, there are some things that you have to do in order to become a QA engineer, and it will take time. If you decided to self-educate yourself to become a quality assurance expert, you have to start learning a lot of material online by yourself. There are vast amount of resources that will talk about QA and how to get started um, on quality assurance. For example, uh, there is a Udemy course that I have uh, for manual quality assurance, as well as a playlist on that channel. So you will have to get started with the basics. You have to understand the basics of quality assurance. When you pick up the overall understanding from web resources, then you can start moving into some hands-on practice. For that, you will need to join some sort of a beta testing uh, community like Utest or some other web pages where you can actually get hands-on experience. Uh, you will have to create a LinkedIn profile uh, with your work experience as a freelance QA or a beta tester that uh, you will be basing your uh, future job interviews on. Essentially, your core point is going to be, I've been doing QA uh, for this long as a freelancer, and now I want to move as a full-time QA engineer. So point one, you are going to spend a lot of time self-studying uh, on the free available resources or resources that are you know, not that expensive, not like a bootcamp program, more like Udemy courses. Um, on quality assurance topics, right? That's the first point. The second point, you will have to get some hands-on experience as a freelancer uh, for some crowd testing, beta testing platforms. And you have to do it consistently for quite some time because you have to build up your job experience where you can say, I've been doing this for a little while now as a freelancer, and now I want like a full-time job in quality assurance. Uh, you will have to pick up some books and articles and just in general join a community of testers. So you need to understand the topics, the conversations that could be like credit quality assurance. You have to start reading about QA and you have to be, you know, in the flow of information that is uh, surrounds quality assurance, right? Otherwise, you know, you don't want to miss things that are important. You don't want to miss updates. You will always find different tools, uh, different uh, tips uh, when you join communities and you read about quality assurance. That goes with the books as well. You have to have some general understanding on quality assurance. So one of the books I can recommend uh, is called Beautiful Testing, published by O'Reilly. Uh, you will find different perspectives from different authors in the industry on testing processes. And I think it's a very good introductory to the testing world where you have different authors bring their opinion on how testing should be conducted. You'll also have to understand some differences between different types of testing, what exists out there and how testing changes based on what kind of company you work for. If it's a waterfall or agile, if it's heavily regulated industry or not, some things are gonna be more strict and um, you know, to the book, uh, line by line, according to documentations. And the other things gonna be more kind of agile and free for all um, if a company is just building up something from grounds up and it's a fresh startup. You'll have to understand those things. Now, after you got a good foundation and, and understand what testing is and what kind of different types of testing there are. Uh, you covered some online courses on your own and resources and you have some experience doing freelance testing. Uh, you'll definitely have to update your LinkedIn. You'll have to have a professional resume done with it. Uh, and what you want to do, you also want to get some certification. Again, the certification can be done through the Udemy or other um, specialized like certification authority uh, on quality assurance you just have to have it to show that you know you've achieved something you you cover the course you understand testing pretty much cover your basis um 
quality assurance doesn't have a course in university you can graduate as a quality assurance engineer a lot of people get into quality assurance field from like computer science or they can change the profession as they go or through the boot camps now if you don't have a boot camp uh, you don't have like previous development experience you don't have an official universal university education like computer science um, one way for you to show that you know what you're doing is to have um, a certification obtained through many different resources that provide it Coursera Udemy and so on so having certification that you can display having work experience in the freelance field having basic understanding by reading uh, through and going through different courses uh, joining the community and having a conversation reading a good book about testing that would be almost everything that you need so if you're going to update the LinkedIn profile and you will practice your soft skills and go into the interview process and pick up some testing tools that are popular right now, like Playwright, for example, uh, for the automation, and you will learn some of the basic principles of testing and how to conduct it, then uh, you just need to prepare for the interview. You have to get the interview questions like you have questions and answers on my patreon if you're interested in those uh, so you'll have to prepare it for the interview for the QA interview you'll have to do some interviews uh, like as a practice interviews before you start really getting it because the first interviews maybe the first 10 or so is, are not going to go you know as well as you think they would go because you will be maybe question questioned with some uh, things that you don't expect or you don't know how to answer but as you practice it, as you answer more and more of those, you know, at some point you'll start understanding the questions are fairly similar uh, from place to place. You might also encounter testing tasks. So you will have to have some hands-on experience and understand how to actually test, how to create a test plan, how to approach a feature. You might be asked, you know, I'm giving you this page. Tell me how you're going to test it. Like you might have like a take home during the interview process. So yeah. Um, so if we're going to go back and cover everything, uh, so you need to understand basics through some course, free course uh, through YouTube or through Udemy, uh, just as a self-study. You need to pick up a good book to read um, about testing. Now you want to have hands-on practice through some freelance uh, website like Udemy. You want to join community of testers and have the conversation and surround yourself uh, with information about testing to be up to date. You want to update your LinkedIn and your resume and you want to get some sort of certification on your page to be displayed that you did actually something and there's a certification that shows that yeah, um, you learned quality assurance uh, and you want to work on your soft skill and practice your interview. So if you do all those things, and I mean, it, it is a little bit um, time consuming, but I think the realistic f time frame, if you dedicate, you know, 100% of your time, even if you work, let's say, like you dedicate evenings anywhere from a half a year to a year, if you start with you test and freelance test and immediately within the time frame after a year or so, I think even like as early as half a year, but even within a year, by the end of the year, you should be ready uh, to move from like a freelance uh, experience into actual full-time testing positions, start going through interviews. You should be ready. You should be prepared uh, to get into quality assurance career on your own. Now, what other ways are there, right? So you can go through a bootcamp program, uh, but only choose bootcamp program for uh, testing if you are doing an actual internship within the bootcamp, you'll have to have hands-on experience with real companies as part of the bootcamp program. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to cut it. You need to have real experience on a resume. And uh, one of the benefits of bootcamps, why are, some of them are pretty expensive, is that because they give you that experience that you can put on and you can show uh, to your future employer that I was doing this and this, this is a project that I did under that program. Now, outside of bootcamp, you can go to university or college and do computer science degree, but then still you have to have some entry junior position out of college. And again, there's no program that will teach you software quality assurance uh, 
as a university or college course or program a diploma that says that it's just going to be computer science so this is more like a transitioning from a very junior developer into quality assurance okay so uh, let me know if you have any questions I think I try to give you a very brief summary on how to get into testing quality assurance on your own um, hit like and subscribe if you want more videos like this and ask in comments if you have any questions uh, this was Alex USA days thank you and Bye-bye.